Hey there, y'all. It's Melanie Ferguson with Southern Crush at Home, uh, where I hope to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love. So I wanted to come live tonight and share a project. I'm just winging it. It um, was something I just threw together at the last minute. So um, we'll see how it turns out. I appreciate you guys for doing this. As you hop on, say, hey, let me know where you're watching from so we can keep track and uh, we'll get started. So these are just little wooden letters and I got these, um, I'll put a link in here for you after the video, but they literally are just little wooden letters. And the cool thing about them is that you can, they're, you can paint them and then you can just peel them off the back. And then they will stick. So they will stick to whatever you peel off the back for them to do. All right, and we're trying a new little, I'm trying a new little professional stand. So it's a little bit more of the project, I hope. Um, it seems to me like it's a little further away, but you guys let me know if you are good with the way that this looks. We are going to have fun tonight, so give me some hearts. And for everyone who does this, um, you will be entered to win these. These are just fun. I know it's really bright there, y'all. These are just fun little, um, there we go, little um, stickers. I don't know my obsession with stickers, y'all. I just love stickers. Maybe I never grew up, but I just love stickers. So whoever um, sprinkles is going to be entered to win some stickers. So, and you guys do this anytime you, you want. <laughs> so, all right, we have these wooden letters. We are just gonna paint them, and we're gonna paint them white. Hey guys, how are you? As you hop on, say hey. I'm just giving myself a tiny bit of paint and I just stuck it on a paper towel, y'all. This is how unprepared this is. But um, this isn't the, everything that I do for my life. So there's that. It was so funny, y'all. One day someone said, this page is supposed to be crafts. And I was like, supposed to be? Like, what, what do you mean? Like, tell me more. <laughs> anyway, it's so funny. All right. I am just painting this. This will only take me one quick second. And Viola. Voila. This is painted. So, I might do two coats. There's, it takes, like, literally no time at all. And I just have a little tiny artist brush. I'm just using it to paint this on. Can you even see? I hope you can see. Hey, Diana. Hey, Christina. How are you, my friends? All right. They actually have um, businesses doing things like this with crafts, and they are in my free business group. If you're if you're thinking about selling what you make or you already do have a business, you might want to check it out. It's at the top of the page, and it just says. Um, it says creative business connection. Yep. We're doing some new training in there tomorrow. Okay. I think I have all three of these painted now. I don't think, I know I do. But I may um, circle back and just do a second little coat on them um, so that they're extra good. I'm not really worried about the sides, y'all. I'm just not worried about the sides, but that's the front. Actually, that was the back. <laughs> they look the same. They look the same now that they're painted white. I'm gonna literally just go back over this first one again. I just want it to be really white so that it pops on what we're doing. And what we're making, y'all, is a tiny little sign. It's for like a tiered tray. I love making those tiered tray signs. And if I don't have a second tiered tray, because I've already made one Valentine tiered tray sign, then I might just set it on the counter or like on a bookshelf as like part of the decor. So, all right, these are doctored up. Okay. I'm gonna put these to the side, y'all. It's just three letters. As you notice, 
the O is missing. So I guess you'll get to guess what we're making for the O. Y'all can put your guesses below. All right, so for the second part of this project, we're gonna take a wooden block. This one was just in my garage, y'all. I stained it uh, prior. And what we're gonna do is attempt to take this Dollar Tree um, heart. This is just a heart from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna try to use it as a stencil. So I'm gonna take the non-glitter back. So there's a glitter side and then there's a non-glitter side. I'm gonna try to stencil with the non-glitter side and I'm not gonna use um, any spray adhesive or anything. I was afraid it would stick to the wood too much, um, but I am gonna use some, some strategicness because if that's a word, because I want to make sure I get a couple hearts on there. You see how this has hearts in it? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to try to use some of the hearts out of it on here. I mean, just make sure that I get some hearts on here. All right. So, but I want it to be kind of off center. So this takes a lot of abstract thinking. You kind of have to decide, um, how you're going to position it to show the pattern. Um, I think I might do it this way. And so this is going to be kind of tricky to uh, keep it held down while I'm stenciling it. But we're going to go for it, y'all. What do you think? Just going to go for it. Just kind of moving it around a little, getting it a little more where I want it. Okay. I think, I think that's how I want it. I don't really know. So we're gonna take this dark gray. It's kind of a dark gray. This is from a maker studio. It's just a chalk-based paint. You can use any chalk-based paint. You can use acrylic paint. It really doesn't matter. And just for cleanup purposes, I'm just gonna use the lid because that's, I didn't bring a plate. I'm just using a stencil brush. You can grab these anywhere. I'm just gonna get a little bit of stencil paint and I'm just going to dig right in, I think. I get really particular. I want to make sure I have it right where I want it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good. So, here we go. Here we go. You guys give me some, you guys do this. Give me some encouragement. All right, I'm going to just start at the top. Looks like I got a lot of the paint on the stencil more than the brush, which is fine. It's gonna all work out. You guys hear me stenciling. So you just tamp down. And I'm trying to be strategic by holding down my stencil at the same time I'll rem I mean, y'all remember, this reminds me, what I'm trying to tell you, this reminds me of when I was young, and no, I wasn't stenciling, I was young, and I was taking piano lessons, and you had to stretch your fingers across the keyboard to um, reach everything. That's kind of how it feels. It feels like I'm having to make sure to reach across the keyboards. Some of these creases are really tiny and skinny, so I'm just making sure to get in there. If y'all are just hopping on, we are, I'm, I'm grabbing some more paint, y'all. Put that right here so you can see it. Okay. And if it turns out to be, you know, a big mess, that's okay too, because um, I can sand it. I can sand it up a little bit. I am young, Elizabeth. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> oh, girl, you're so funny. All right. 
So I'm trying to get it down in the edges without making a big mess of it. Can't y'all just not wait for the reveal? I just can't wait for the reveal myself. Let's see what we got here. There's a fine line between, I can't hold that down and actually get in the cracks. One more little spot to get. I'm just kind of going back over where I was because it looks a little wet. Okay, one more little spot, y'all. I'm, I'm stenciling my hand. Okay, I think that's about it. What do y'all think? Okay, let's see what we got. How about it? Let's see what we got. All right, deep breath, encouragement. We're gonna pull it off. Here we go. I'm gonna pull it towards me so that I can show you. Here we are. There we go. You can't see it, y'all. You can't hardly see it. <laughs> I mostly see the stain, the, the wood stains, but that's okay. That's kind of what we have. And I think that once I, um, and you see I got a heart on there and I got, um, well, one heart. But this is fine. This is what we have to work with. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Sandy. Thank you. Okay, so let's carry on. You know what I might do? I might take this little brush. And, woo! Almost dropped the paint. Heart attack. I might take this little brush, get some of the gray up here, and darken a couple of the spots just so that they pop a little more, or I might not. They actually look kind of good the way they are, y'all. I'm gonna leave it, gonna leave it. Isn't it always better to just leave things? Once you've kind of done them, you just kind of just leave it. So, that being said, let's wrap this up. We have this on it so far, and that was the Dollar Tree uh, Big Felt Heart. I think it's supposed to be like a charger. Gosh, this light, y'all. Um, and then we're gonna take our little letters and I'm gonna peel the back off of, peel the back off of them. So I got the back off of the L and I'm just gonna put it up here in the corner. And I hope it's in the right spot. I'm just kind of placing them here so I can kind of make sure that they're not too far off of where they're supposed to go. Okay. I'm gonna do the E next because it's on the bottom. Right, Kelly, never second guess yourself. Here we go. So I've got the L and the E, the two furthest ones out first, and then I'm gonna put the V and hold my breath. Actually, y'all, you know what? I'm gonna play it safe and I'm gonna save the V till I do the O because I just wanna make sure it's on there right. All right, so this is what we're doing for the O and I don't think you would have guessed I don't think anybody guessed it. I kind of glanced, but I didn't see it. Um, it's cotton. I decided to do cotton. Cotton for the O, but I spread out the cotton in the center. 
So as you notice, it's not just this tight bowl of cotton. It's literally opened up. So I guess you can't guess what I'm getting my gun out, my glue gun. Bet you can't guess what's gonna go in the center of the cotton. Yes, are y'all tired of it yet? I'm just putting a, a healthy amount of glue. On the cotton I'm gonna hold it for a second to let it set yes you guys are so smart you guys are so smart all right I'll let this set and then I'm gonna add the V I'm gonna add the V and then we're gonna add the bling. We're going to do this one. We're going to do this one. Oh, thank you, Angie. You're so sweet. She said my, my videos were soothing. I hope for y'all, maybe, maybe eventually for me. Somebody, y'all have glue coming up. Do you see the mess I made? Uh, I'm going to put some on the actual wood. It's tricky with the cotton ball, I'm just gonna tell you. You need to be really careful with it because um, it's dry and brittle and old and it wants to fall apart. It wants to fall apart on me, but I'm not gonna let it. So I'm gonna take the bling and I'm gonna put it down in the middle of the cotton and then I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Oh, Nancy, thank you. Linda, the laughy face is fine. Any of the faces but the mad face is fine. Um, this might be the biggest mystery, how to get this one open. There. And you know what? Oh, it fell apart. I wonder if I, if I want, no, I think I do want. Do I want the pearl? I think I want the pearl. So the pearl fell out of the little, uh, blingy brooch thing. So I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue and add it back. Cause I think I want the pearl. It's part of the, part of the bling. And then uh, this one has a little fastener on the back. Can you see it? Janet, I'll put you a link, but it's southerncrushathome.com forward slash bling if anybody wants to put it in for me. So really, all I'm gonna do is shove a ton of glue down here. Let me see where I'm gonna put it first. Oh, that's really cute, y'all. I may just not shove a ton of glue down in there. I may just put a little bit of glue on the corners And then be and then call it a day hold on y'all it's kind of crooked give me a second the pearl in the middle is crooked I wasn't in the jewelry repair business I'm not in the jewelry repair business but that's what I'm having to do all right I've got a little bit of glue holding that Pulling that bling in. Here we go. What do you think? Can you see it all? It's hard to see. Let me, uh, there we go. There we go. My stomach's growling, can you hear it? Oh my goodness. 
Yes, ring it up. Ring it up if you like it. I, you can't see all the gray. I can see the gray on my end. The dark gray gives it a little bit of farmhouse. Um, let me add a little bit of glue to this poor, poor pearl that won't stay on. It's cute without the pearl, but I really want the pearl on there. So I'm gonna make it stay on there. All right, so if you hung out with me to the very end here, um, I'm just going to remind you that I sent everybody an email today. I sent everyone an email today and talked about the devotional I did for the first seven days of the year and how you could still grab that and watch it if you'd like. And I gave you a, um, a link to um, the craftathon, I think. I can't remember. But anyway, my point is in the in the email, I said how much I appreciate you guys and I appreciate all the love you give my page. And here's my love to you. And then this is going to one lucky uh, follower tonight. If you don't already follow the page, go over to the top and hit follow or down here below in the video, you can see the follow button. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. If you aren't subscribed yet for the emails, just go to southerncrushathome.com slash subscribe. I appreciate you. All right, you guys have an amazing night and I will talk to you later. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>